Okay, in this next clip, I want to talk about the rack for straight pool. Okay, first of all, in straight pool, you can play this one-on-one -on -one, or you can play it partners, two-on-two. -two. Uh, you need all 15 balls plus a cue ball, and you should have a diamond rack. The rack is very simple. Uh, I don't know why this is, and I've been asking some old timers, even my uncle, he doesn't know why, but it's just the way it is. Uh, when you rack the balls for straight pool, you put all 15 balls in the rack, the one goes on the right, and the five goes on the left. That's just the way it is. But here's the thing I wanna tell you about the rack. When you rack the balls, make sure every ball, it is a rule that every ball in the rack must be touching each other. Now, there's ways of racking the balls, so that you could give, like if say you have a, a guy racking the balls here, always go over and make sure all the balls are touching. And if they're not, you could tell them, re-rack them for you. The reason that being is because you want all the balls to be touching for the, for the simple fact of that when you break the balls, you're going to do a break that causes your opponent to have a hard shot. And uh, when I show you more about the game, I'll, I'll get into that in more detail. But so just remember, one ball on the, on the right, Five ball on the left, all the balls are touching each other snug, and the head ball goes on the spot, which should be here, there isn't one, but there's usually a spot right here in the middle of the table. That head ball goes on that head spot. That's the rack. Come back, I'll show you the next clip.